city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is day 47 of Swayze not receiving his silver play button. Now, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get right into things, because I need to know what's going on with D.O.A. Because every time we turn around, the members in that group got a problem with each other. First, it was Nazi BK and Dougie B going back and forth, doing little petty things, Xing each other faces out of pictures, putting clown emojis and this, that, and the third. DOA was in shambles, and it looked like Nazi BK got kicked out the group for wearing extensions and going on tour with his girlfriend. So I was kind of confused, and it looks like things ain't getting no better. Because apparently, B-Love and Set the Trend are now baffing. Now this all started when B-Love posted this caption in his stories, and it says, Niggas dissing, but ain't stepping. Watch how we teach him. A lesson. He continues, everybody disrespectful and everybody got a date. Some very strong words coming from Pastor Love. And that's when Set the Trend decided to enter the chat. And he responded by posting this on his stories. Everybody does have a date, but some niggas' dates come a little earlier and Nazi BK took a break from using that DOA shampoo and conditioner just so he could go to his stories and agree with set the trend to show people exactly where he stands in this now I'm not sure what's going on can somebody please get in contact with the most dangerous man on this side of the Milky Way galaxy so we could get a confirmation on who and who's not DOA anymore because it seems like everybody is just going against each other and too much infighting never leads to anything good. Y'all heard what K-Flock's lawyer said in a video that I posted. Them niggas over there on Reddit doing anything and everything possible to keep that man from being freed. If you don't think it's real, why are you even telling us except to inflame the passions of the court? I mean, why did it need to be passed at all? No one knew about it. Nobody reads Reddit. At least the defense lawyers and the judge doesn't. The prosecutor apparently does. And I explained that it was clear to me that the only aim of passing along this threat to kill the judge, which was apparently spontaneously deemed to be a non-threat, it's to prejudice the court at a time when a motion for a protective order regarding discovery, regarding the names of the witnesses, and a very important motion that if granted will make it nearly impossible for the defense to conduct any kind of mean meaningful investigation of the state's witnesses, that email that was sent with the threat to the judge, they sent it right at the time this motion is about to be filed. And the criteria for granting a motion for the protective order to prevent us from getting the names of the witnesses is obviously the concern for the safety of the witnesses. Sending death threats, talking about booming a 70-year-old judge and everything, bro. You niggas need to show solidarity at a moment like this. You think K. Roy wants to see all of this go on while he's locked up fighting a case behind bars? Come on, get it together. But let me shut up. I'm sitting there acting like these niggas gonna listen to me. But for the people that are listening, be safe out there. And don't bring the Uggs out yet, ladies. Give it some time. It's too early for that. You gotta wait until like mid-October. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Everybody shot. Smoke